Hi, so I'm back again. Um, this time I'm doing a review for Olight's M2X UT Javelot, um, which is an extended range variable output LED flashlight. Um, I've had a lot of torches in my time. Um, this one is well something else it's it's really good um you're getting a maximum of 1020 lumens so 1020 lumen there 810 meter throw uh that's with one battery um i, I don't know of any other uh, flashlights that can give you that kind of power on one battery um Obviously, you can use the two different types of battery, the 18650 uh, uh, or the two CR123As, which is what I've got in at the moment um, for um, demonstration purposes. So, to the lamp itself. Okay, let's just take that out here, put that aside. Now then. Uh, what have we got? Well, the look and the build quality uh, are of a standard that I've come to expect from Olight. The body is the usual aircraft grade adenized aluminium. Absolutely brilliantly uh, machined. Uh, it's got a great feel and a really good weight to it. Um, the face of the torch is huge compared to the body. Uh, it's got a very thin bezel which uh, makes way uh, for this really large anti-reflective uh, coated glass. Um, the glass is invisible when you look at it. Um, you really cannot tell. It's coated on both sides um, with anti-reflective coating. Um, uh, behind the glass, you've got the uh, uh, Cree XML2U2, um, and you have uh, a de-domed LED. Um, now, a de-domed LED, um, if, if you look at normal flash LED flashlights, uh, you'll see that the LED is housed in a protective silicon lens, uh, which is called a dome. Uh, Olight have removed the dome and given this flashlight, well, that amazing throw of uh, 800 odd, 800 plus uh, meters. Uh, so basically, you're getting a really highly customized flashlight straight from the maker. Um, behind the head of the flashlight, you've got these three ridges or fins, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're there to disperse heat because this torch will get hot, well, really warm. Um, there's also a syringe grip um, on the body just by the base. Um, this is not, as people call it, a tactical ring. Uh, there's nothing tactical about it. Um, it's there simply so you can hold it like a syringe, hold the torch like a syringe and turn it on and off. Now maybe that's tactical, I don't know. Uh, I always thought tactical was holding it in that fashion. But you can also attach your lanyard um, to the syringe ring. Um, maybe that's the tactical bit they're talking about, I don't know. But uh, it's a very useful uh, little ring. It's, it's not threaded and it's not fixed. It will turn, but it's it's not loose. Um, it's not loose at all. Um, so now then, what do we get at the end? Right. Okay. The function of the flashlight is from the end clicky switch, and also from the head. It's a twist head. Um, which gives you functions from low, medium and high beam. 
Uh, you full click on the clicky switch, gives you the last memorised brightness level, which mine is obviously on full. Um, a half click or half press gives you momentary memorised. Two half clicks will give you full beam. Now, as I'm on full beam already, I won't demonstrate that, but well, I will, but it'll give me high beam anyway. Uh, and then three clicks, and you'll get your strobe. And you can either click it all the way on or just hold it for momentary. And then another click for off. Now, with the Javelot switched on, Okay. You turn the head clockwise then anti-clockwise and it'll go down to low. Do it again to medium and then to high. Now I'll do it down here so you can see it, just a bit awkward. To low, to medium, I've just locked it out. Low, to medium, to high. Now holding it properly it's very simple to do and high so um, like I say you can lock it out as usual by a half turn of the base cap nothing works then until you twist it back and you got your function back um, all of the functions um, are explained in the usual in the, in the user manual uh, now what do you get in the box well you get the java lot you get your user manual, you get a couple of spare o-rings, you get your lanyard that goes on the <coughs> tactical ring, uh, and you get this. This is your flashlight holster. Um, it's a pouch, but I think holster is just way cooler. So I'll call it a holster. And you just pop it in there and you push it all the way down. And it kind of clicks in place. And then pop your press stud on. Now, you can either hang it from a carabiner or whatever. Or you've got your velcro fastenings for belt or vest fittings. Um, I personally, I'd have it off my waist or off my chest. Um, with my um, vest on um, so that is that now what you also get I think because the bezel is so thin Olight have uh, given you a crenulated base now uh, you can stand it on the base um, but it's also really good if you want to subdue somebody as well um, in any security situations. Um, so that is what you get um, with the M2X UT Javelot and it's a very cool light, uh, very well made, terrific feel about it. Uh, it's going to be very useful in the tactical market. Um, and in household um, as well. I, mean, I can quite easily see this living in the car or in the shed um, or whatever. But what I will do now is, uh, as usual, I'll take it outside once it gets dark and uh, I'll run through the functions um, on the video so you can see what it can do. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do just now and um, once we've how, how do we look at this box that they give you right a hard plastic case um absolutely fantastic tells you here you get a total of 30 hours run time obviously that's on the lowest setting um five year promise guarantee um it's waterproof i forgot to mention it um ipx8 rated uh, so fully waterproof uh, up to a depth of about two meters um, and it's also impact resistant as well um, usual uh, for about a meter, meter and a half you're quite safe to drop it 
um, it won't scratch or buckle or anything because of the adenized um, coating. Um, all the specifications are on the back of the box and all the features um, here. It even gives you suggested applications. Um, so all I have actually thought of everything uh, on this flashlight and as you can probably tell from the way I'm talking about it, I really like this one. Um, so that's it, I'll wait till it gets dark outside and uh, go and have a play in the woods and uh, show you what it can do. If I just click it on and you can see a nice wee low beam there. Um, even though it's a low beam you can still see quite a distance in front of me. It's not showing up awfully great in but that beam in the in the distance there that's probably about 200 meters um, 100 150 meters so that's it on low so all I'll do is I'll just twist it and twist it back and gone up to medium now yeah you can see the difference um, plain as day there's the tree that I showed before and if I show you this in the distance you see just how much brighter that is now you can see how tight the cone is which is why this is ideal or will be ideal for search and rescue yeah, such a tight cone of light, not much flood um, at all so perfect for pinpointing people so I'm going to put it up to high beam now. I'm not going to have it on high beam for long because people live within two miles of here and they will see this. So as you can see it's so bright. Now that that it's lighting up I can tell you now it's about 750, about 750 meters away something like that and you can see it's clear as day literally and you can see on the video you can see the cone coming down there now what I'm going to do is just pick up the camera just now and I'm going to shine this up into the into the sky and just look at that that's an amazing light that we've got there so anyway that's what you get with the Javelot now I'm going to Turn it back off just now. Now I'm going to show you the strobe. There's three clicks. You see, 10 hertz. Somebody coming at you, you whack that on. It's say, say good night for them because they're not going to be able to see a thing. Uh, now, if I turn it to um, say low and turn it off. I'll do two clicks and it's straight on to high. Two clicks and three clicks and we're on strobe. Two clicks on high. So there you got the Javelot. Now I'll, a bit different to the other ones I've shown you. They've had quite a, a decent flood. Um, by that I mean you can see the area out to the sides as well, whereas this one's more um, it's straight in front um, you can spotlight somebody from so far away um, it's absolutely brilliant for, um, for stuff like that so anyway, that's me showing you all the functions um, and you can read about them on my uh, review on Amazon